in this video an acoustic switch with a hold position and I realized that there are many circuits on the internet also many uh, easier circuits but anyway want to demonstrate it I've published this preamplifier in the past of course with an acoustic switch it means that when a signal an audio signal enters the microphone something is switched on or off here is the preamplifier that I've published earlier electric microphone capsule first transistor second transistor with this transi uh, sorry this resistor potentiometer you can set the sensitivity for microphone signals when you move it up the microphone gets very sensitive and when you move it down uh, it gets less sensitive this is by the way a classic preamplifier and there's no not so much more to tell apart from the fact that we have to add to the electric microphone capsule a certain voltage to supply here the internal amplifier so inside this tiny capsule there is a real audio amplifier that needs a supply voltage often 2 volts but I found here that it is was 7 volts anyway I don't know that exactly but it works now we have the second stage and the audio signal goes to the driver here and here the final stage that is the MOSFET that drives the relay it looks quite complicated but it is not it isn't that at all here you see the relay MOSFET here is the sensitivity from the driver so um, something to tell in between you need here a decoupling unit and you need here a decoupling unit classical decoupling unit and these are the values from the um, components they stabilize the whole circuit when you don't use them it will not work you can be absolutely sure here you see the decoupling unit here and here the other decoupling unit anyway we were here the signal from the microphone goes into the driver via a capacitor from 5 microfarad and then it drives the MOSFET the MOSFET has a very good property that it can be driven by uh, static charges and that means when we um, add charge to the MOSFET the MOSFET hangs in its uh, in a certain position where the relay is activated by a current here so that's what I've done I've used here a um, 100 microfarad capacitor that is this capacitor very important capacitor CX and CX sets the time so what happens an audio signal arrives here it's amplified uh, the MOSFET is driven to saturation the relay switches and uh, when the relay uh, switches the lamp lights up and here I add a positive voltage via this resistor to the same gate that means that when we close this switch uh, the circuit will hang so uh, one sound will have the effect that the lamp here constantly lights up or whatever you want to switch here a motor or another lamp a big lamp doesn't uh, doesn't matter and when you open this switch again the circuit is reset is reactivated this capacitor sets the time with 100 microfarad it's 30 seconds I did some experiments to go with higher um, uh, microfarad um, values and that didn't work but anyway you're free to uh, to uh, 
experiments. And the reason is of course that during a certain time this cap must be charged. So a cap from 1000 microfarad cannot be charged within a very short time. Um, here I have made a light emitting diode and also here, oh sorry, this, you can forget this part of the circuit. This is the, the, the it has no connection. Anyway, pen over somewhat and the hold position is what I've told here that's done with this switch. That's normally open but when you close it uh, the circuit uh, switches on forever when a sound enters the microphone. This is by the way a kind of hi-fi amplifier and on many circuits on the internet you will find much simpler, easier to make amplifiers. But this amplifier has the good property that it amplifies all frequencies perfectly. And with simple amplifiers that could be a problem. This is the circuit on the breadboard. Uh, the MOSFET, the relay from 260 ohms, the potentiometer here that sets the sensitivity from the working point from the switch, that's this potentiometer, and here the sensitivity potentiometer for the sound. Uh, 